Things happen fast in Athens when Rogers' pass is intercepted by Marikic of Georgia, and visiting North Carolina Tar Heels find Marikic a tough customer. In fact, they barely catch a glimpse of the fleet Georgia back as he romps 80 yards to score before 45,000 football fanciers. Georgia led until the third period when Justice steps in. Charlie Justice, that is, here passing to Powell to set up the first Tar Heel touchdown. Who scored that first touchdown? Why, Charlie Justice, whose gridiron name is Choo Choo. Remember that name. They see more of this fella Justice, number 22. This time, Choo Choo streamlines his way through the center for his second tally, but not his last, and the last is the best. Gary of the Bulldogs kicks, and under it is the Asheville Flash. There goes Choo Choo getting up steam for the thrill play of the afternoon. This is an express run, no stop. North Carolina wins 21 to 14. That's justice for you. battle for the city of Suchow is joined. Less than 180 miles from the capital, Nanking, nationalist forces dig in for a losing fight. Among them is Colonel Chang Wei Ku, second son of the Generalissimo, who commands an armored unit. The 400,000 nationalists are armed largely with American weapons, and 105 millimeter guns open a barrage. Four hundred thousand nationalists put up a last ditch fight against overwhelming red numbers. Two hundred and ten thousand communists are dead or wounded in the battle, while some of the fifty thousand nationalists wounded are evacuated by air to rear areas. More than three thousand red troops are captured with their arms during the struggle, many of the weapons being of Japanese origin. Despite the horde of communist captives taken, the city falls to the red. With Deng King in peril, Madame Chong Kai-shek arrives at Leesburg, Virginia, as the guest of Mrs. George Marshall. Her country is back to the wall. Madame Chung is in this country to make a last-minute appeal for help to her country. One of her objectives is to secure the advisory services of General MacArthur. She greets America. I wish to express my appreciation for the interest and sympathy shown to my country by our American friends. I'm happy to be here in the historic and hospitable home of my good friends, General and Mrs. Marshall. Robert Stripling, counsel for the Un-American Affairs Committee, and Congressman Nixon examine microfilms of top State Department documents found on the farm of Whitaker Chambers, self-confessed one-time communist spy. In the latest sensational turn of the red espionage probe, the Maryland farm of the magazine editor becomes the focus of attention. Of particular interest is the pumpkin patch, which provides the hiding place for the crucial documents. Nestling innocently in the patch is this pumpkin, which gave concealment to the film copies of the paper. Chambers says he adopted this ruse to foil his commie associates of 1937. Where did he get the documents? The country is waiting for Mr. Chambers to point the finger.